Hello and thank you for joining me. My name is Jamie. I'm Head of Sales at MySoft. Uh, we are a Sage X3 partner based in the UK uh, and also the authors of X3 Cloud Docs. Today we're going to talk about accounts payable in Sage X3, uh, how you may be doing it today and how we may want to do it in the future uh, and then also have a look at the uh, X3 Cloud Docs EDM solution at the end. Industry analyst Gartner have found that it can cost between five and 25 US dollars to process a B2B invoice. Lots of reasons for this. It could be as simple as the fact that a high value resource, a financial controller or FD are processing invoices. It could be that there's a uh, long multi-line, multi-page invoice that takes a long time to process, or it could be the fact that things like early settlement discounts are being missed out on, and so there's lost savings. It is also calculated that around 22% of B2B invoices require some form of manual correction. This could be due to data entry errors or any number of reasons, but clearly there's also a cost associated with this too. Beyond the financial cost of error correction, uh, there's also the human cost. 25% of finance professionals feel that they are undertaking repetitive manual tasks instead of their value add roles. Obviously, this can drive job dissatisfaction, lead to employee turnover, and as a result, increased costs of employment and retraining of skilled members of staff. Today in X3, you may be entering invoices in a number of ways, uh, entering them manually by literally tabbing through and keying in the data, using a previous invoice as a template, scrubbing the information and re-entering, or using a goods received note or purchase order as a template to fill it out for you. Here we can see Sage X3 version 12 on a purchase invoice screen. Uh, obviously, many fields to complete. Even if you're using a GRN or a PO on the left hand side to populate your list, uh, there's still a lot of data to be validated and checked by a human. And human eyes are not really well geared to analysing data at this level. It's not the end of the story. In many businesses, invoices also require authorization. Traditionally, this has been paper-based, so the printing off of an invoice, someone signs it, maybe they write some GL codes on there. Uh, it could be that it gets emailed around, or there may just be verbal approval. Uh, obvious issues with this, this is not auditable, and in a COVID pandemic, people aren't in the office as much, and so things just don't move around desks as smoothly as they should. It is estimated that around 65% of AP invoice processing is still mostly paper-based. And as mentioned, in the last 12 to 18 months, times have changed. 42% uh, of the US workforce is still working in a remote fashion. 99% of those who have been inquired on also want to stay working in some form of remote fashion. So this isn't going anywhere. And in fact, businesses are starting to find savings and potentially up to $11,000 per employee per year to have employees working from home. With this in mind, uh, MySoft have authored a product called X3 Cloud Docs. X3 Cloud Docs was written specifically to integrate with Sage X3. Uh, we are a X3 software house and the software was written specifically with X3 in mind, so it's not really a bolt-on. It brings together best of breed OCR and machine learning technology to analyse invoices and streamline the templating of those. It includes a global invoice library, so sharing metadata between sites in an entirely secure way to expedite the process of training the technology. Because of these things, 
our customers have received immediate benefit. Uh, the projects are as little as five or six working days spread over a few weeks. So the, the capacity to get benefit from it immediately is very high. And it's entirely scalable. So it's worked for smaller 20 million turnover businesses up to 200 plus million turnover businesses already. Our customers have found great success. Uh, one of them actually refers to it as having revolutionized how they work in the Office of Finance, uh, where they were able to process an entire month's worth of invoices in a single day. So Extra Cloud Docs is a process. Uh, we start with an invoice being received. It may be via an email, it may be in a network folder, or it may be manually uploaded. It then enters processing. The first step of processing is that data is synced to X3, so it's imported to X3. And this may be GL codes, it may be supplier information. And data is extracted from the invoice document. It's important at this point to note that X3 Cloud Docs uses text layer extraction from digital PDFs, so accuracy is near to 100%. It then validates this data which has been extracted, and it will validate against goods received notes and purchase orders to make sure the information matches to Sage X3 and flag anomalies. There is a hierarchical authorization routing with email notification of authorization requirements. And then finally, the original document is stored securely in the cloud and an invoice is created in Sage X3. So X3 Cloud Docs is a SaaS product. You have the benefit of not having to host it. It's automatically backed up, patched, highly scalable. And obviously during a pandemic such as COVID, uh, the availability anywhere is of highest importance. It also provides new functionality and the upgrades stay parallel to X3. As mentioned, it's accessible anywhere. You can receive notifications, so accessible via your mobile phone, and users require very little training. It's highly intuitive. Um, it's also great that it removes paper from the business, which is beneficial from an environmental and process standpoint. So let's take a look. Here's X3 Cloud Docs, uh, available via a web browser. I'm logged in as an AP clerk, uh, entirely secure and role-based security. On the left-hand side, I have a kind of a work list, different areas which I can interact with the system. And you can see that we're looking at documents which are currently in progress. If I hover over any of these list items, it will pop up and show me a preview and I can analyze that prior to actually pushing it through into processing. I can see here that some extraction and validation has already taken place prior to the manual verification stage. So supplier name has been identified, an invoice number has been extracted from the document along with an invoice date. And then on the right hand side, you can see a PO number has been matched from Sage X3. On the right hand side here, you can see what stage the document is at. So whether it's pending manual verification or if it's in an approval process. If I click through, it's possible for me to have a preview of the document in my top left, along with some action buttons. On the right hand side, I have some of the key fields. So supplier name, key values, invoice number, etc. The green ticks indicate a high degree of confidence in the software. Uh, and the amber warnings are indications that the software isn't as confident and wants a human to check and validate those values. In our bottom left, we have the lines and you can see that these are highlighted in the preview above. Uh, and these are also matched against the purchase order. Uh, you can see here on the second row, I have an amber warning box. Uh, and this actually indicates that the invoiced amount no longer matches the received amount and is asking for someone to check and validate this. Once I've gone through and validated all the information, I can accept this invoice because everything is green ticked. 
Once accepted, I can push it through into workflow. Uh, here are three different workflows that can be achieved, uh, or you could just have it automatically pushed through to a single field. As mentioned, the system will push out email notifications that an authorization needs to take place. Uh, here's an image of a single authorization request, and then here is a daily summary. I can also select login straight from the email and it will push me through to the application to undertake my authorizations. So if I click on that and I go through as a finance approver, I've got three documents here that are waiting for me and they're the list of assigned to me. I can see three different elements here and they're all waiting for my approval. If I click through, I've got a number of fields on the right hand side that I can just cast my eye over and check. And in the bottom left, I can see what stage of the approval process I'm at. So I'm the second level approver, having already been approved by purchasing. Up in the top left, I can action a few elements. I can put this on hold and add narrative as to why this is the case. I can reroute it to a different approver. I can request further information from an individual to ask why the values are as they are. I can also just reject the document out of hand. On the far right hand side I have a little clock and this tells me the sequence of events that have happened to this document, so providing a full audit trail. Customers such as Madison have found that users have really got on well with the product and not required a high amount of training and that is seamlessly integrated into their existing work processes. It's very important to us that the product delivers value to our customers and one of the ways we do this is by implementing an active go live plan. This usually takes about four weeks and includes a number of different phases including training, FAQs and culminating in go live. It's priced in an agreeable manner, it's a SaaS solution so there's a low cost of infrastructure up front. It's volume based, so the pricing is scalable to your business usage. And by its nature, it is a small project. Obviously, the professional service cost on this is therefore low, as is the cost to your business in terms of your own time. And you know, a five or six day project delivered over three or four working weeks allows rapid ROI to be achieved. So why choose Cloud Docs? You don't have to host it. It's patched for you, scalable, accessible anywhere. There are email notifications, there's little training, and you're removing paper from your business. As promised, we can talk about the EDM solution as well. We also have an X3 Cloud Docs outbound version, uh, which provides archiving and index of documents produced in Sage X3 with web viewing, email dispatch, and providing you with that full digital paper trail. You can easily attach documents from X3 and access them from there. They're secured in a document cloud, and you can automate the sending from Sage X3 as a distribution platform. This helps you meet compliance and document retention standards and reduces manual processing. Similar to inbound, it's a web tool available via a web portal. It is an indexed document repository, which is fully searchable and provides secure document viewing with role-based security. You can resend and reprint documents directly from the interface and very simply view them from within Sage X3 using a traditional attachment view. So, extra cloud docs can help you save cost, save time, drive automation in your business towards digital transformation, improve audit and control, improve your visibility of a document in its life cycle, and improve your access remotely, which is incredibly important during the current times. Thank you very much for your time. Please get in touch if you'd like to find out more.